The other oh. half is. Did you, did you do the rolling? I don't know, you roll like, around on the dirt. Yeah. In uh, general, the rolling. I didn't. I, I did find an Xbox catch near the beginning. I just didn't, I didn't think I rolling around. You have to keep doing it until. Or maybe the pops up. Catch came off because, like, <laughs> no, the one that you find on the cliff when you start is there. The other one is where you actually roll around for about a bit. Also. It, it's kind of like um, like that Easter egg when you throw up in Metal Gear Solid 3. You spin your dude around a lot until it just goes bleh. I like the uh, Easter egg in Metal Gear Solid 3. Call what's his face while you're inside the cardboard box. Um, it's second? like a go on like a 10 minute uh, soliloquy and why he feels at home inside of a cardboard box. Yeah, Sigan, nice. or whatever his name is. The black guy. Yeah. I do like MGS. MGS 3 is... is... I like MGS4 a hell of a lot more, though. I never finished 4 because after an hour and a half of the uh, intro cutscenes and minimal gameplay, I was just like, uh, uh, I'm Oh, done. yeah, like, the, the actual cutscenes do need a lot to about 6 hours of actual time. I'm not fucking joking. There actually is a compilation that's 6 hours long of all the cutscenes. I made it up to a certain cutscene, and it's like, okay, you know what? Uh, I'm gonna go play Thief 2. I'll be back later. Yeah, that's fair. Now, see, the one thing I kind of would have liked to have seen in in Homefront, or maybe it's sequel, <laughs> is more improvised weaponry and more civilian weaponry. Oh, what happened? Oh, shit! <laughs> what the fuck? I'm sorry, um... My friend linked me this. <laughs> this is not... I don't know what. Um... I don't know what he did, but he shit himself. Yes, he has IBS. He actually fucking- Oh, he did fucking shoot himself, that's fucking quality. <laughs> I can't watch that dude, that's fucking nasty. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's fucking awful, but that's that's pretty great. <laughs> no, no, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of surprised. Like, it's like, okay, dude, there's a shit ton of automatics. Yeah, sure, they, the North Koreans all have guns, but chances are there's probably very, very few fucking like automatic weapons in civilian hands. Strangely, when I were talking about that, where it make more sense if you kept a pistol longer and maybe had like double barrel shotgun or. Or even like a pump gun, like a fucking, like a, a, an old fucking state trooper fucking shotgun would be kind of cool. It'd actually yeah, have like a state trooper rack number on it or something. Exactly. That'd be kind of neat. You know, they would add character to it and actually build like a story. Like, where did you get the shotgun? Oh, uh, yeah. You just inspired me to, the other game I needed to do is uh, State of Decay. State of Decay, actually. Funny enough, State of Decay. I've watched playthroughs of that. I thought it was interesting from the way they did certain things, but overall, uh, But yes, that's actually not a bad idea. But talk about how, because your main characters, your original characters at least, is military. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I, I haven't saw their games, and just, I'm tired of zombies, but... Yeah. Also, I really like this big graphic artifact you're having at 26 minutes in. 26 and a half minutes in when you're using the drone. The big black, empty space. I don't remember Was which that part. Is that part of the model? Episode 7 is 26 Yeah, I know. Well, I'll, I just went to the same spot. Hold on. I'll, I'm looking. Please select a landing zone. It's only oh. evident, like, it was evident, like, at the landing beginning of it. Zone. The big black spot. I don't know if it's the other side of, like, the fucking drone, drone, maybe? It looks like it's part of the drone. Like the wing, maybe? Yeah. But why? Oh, yeah. I never, never noticed that. Because I just, yeah, because like, there's no commentary so it's, like, in the background. But, like, like, I, I mean, come on, man. Give the guy, like, a 38 special revolver. Give, like, a fucking Model 10 or something stupid. You know what's the most useless thing, by the way? What's up? Is that the, the Predator runs out of fuel and not ammo? I think Which it'd be kind of cool. Nice. Well, no, I think it'd be kind of cool if it just had 16 shots, you know, for real Predator. Yeah, that's it. Like, you gotta use it correctly, you know, you gotta take targets of opportunity to blow them up and shit. Yeah. I mean, I, I can imagine that, like, the North Koreans have been in the country for, like, ten fucking years, like, at this point, the war they're supposed to be, but... 
at the same time. Like, I don't know, it's just, it was just it was something better at Red Dawn. When there's actually, like, a, a definitive line, front line, where the bad guys have been stopped by the American military, and the majority of the country is still under American control. This part from 2720 on is the most boring part of this mission. Oh, the, yeah, the turret section? Yeah. I actually died in the section, and I can't tell you why I died. Uh, yeah, I couldn't tell you. I, I saw that happen. Like, they might have pinged you or something, because I think, like, your, your actual model is something separate from the vehicle. So, like, the vehicle, you could die in the vehicle, maybe? I don't know. I wasn't happy to die. I don't blame you, but I mean, granted, at least you didn't go too far into the this part of the goddamn level mode. Uh, yeah, so far I've seen like four deaths, I think. Yeah, I, I was originally trying to do no death runs through here, but... It's not worth it. Wait, how'd you die with the thing attacking you? I don't know. Yeah, like, they just smash it. I was using countermeasures and everything. I don't fucking know. Whatever. Whatever, dude. You also, know, we, we always joke about getting diced. You got a whole bunch of Yeah, you, you, know. you haven't heard uh, a couple people making jokes to hold front just by initial reactions. Ah, ah. Nice. Um, isn't that thing. I forget a lot of it, but isn't that thing like something that you guys develop and then make a feel or. Yeah, the, the Asian guy's really good with the computer. No. Oh, my favorite is the. Uh, He's a hacker. Oh no, you you steal that after after you shoot it down. Is what it was, right? Something. Yeah. I don't like, fucking like know. you fuck it up and he he rewires it so it's your thing now. Yeah, which is fucking weird. Yeah, it happens on screen. Though. Stupid. Yeah. Again, each guy is really good at the fucking attraction and a hacker. You know, you know that's what? not a trope at all. You know what? They should make an Asian guy who's just dumb as shit, but he just looks really smart. No, dude, they need to do a motherfucker like my one buddy we had in my platoon. He was a radio tech. Looked like a Ninja Turtle. Like, literally looked like a Ninja Turtle. I mean, he was Filipino, granted. He wasn't, like, Asian, but... He was built like a Ninja Turtle. He was, like, five foot two and white as fuck. And, like, he had ridiculous amounts of muscle. I don't know why they just don't have, like, the Asian guy who's, like, this fucking jock motherfucker instead. Well, my favorite, um, Dan's EOD uh, team at one point, he had a guy that named Shanks. They said the guy couldn't eat soup when he wanted to make a bomb down. Nice. I thought that was pretty funny, but... Well, this part right here, uh, 30 minutes in? Yeah. Where he, the dumbass runs into flare? Yeah. Yeah, let's run, let's run right at the the vehicles oncoming with all of their automatic weaponry that is pointed right at you. Well, and the problem is, is that it's supposed to be, oh yeah, you know, the flare here, and it's like, well, why isn't any of the uh, U.S. military throwing colored smoke or anything like that? You know, my guys are marine, uh, marine helicopter pilot. Shouldn't he know some detailed ideas on how to coordinate air assets, maybe? Yeah, if you actually wasn't a sound protag, which I fucking hate, actually. That's why I'm glad that fucking, like, Blaskowitz fucking talks and, and goddamn Wolfenstein. Like, I mean, hey, guess what? Those guys were not that far away. You know how far you can fucking throw a flare? Yeah, Pretty you know, goddamn far. Or, you know who would have been better? If you popped green smoke or something like that, or red smoke, and say hey, 50 hey. feet ahead of the red smoke. G guess, guess what kind of fucking shit we can fucking shoot out of 203s? We can fire smoke rounds out of 203s. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Reminds me of playing uh, smoke or sm at least smoke grenades and flares out of uh, Arma, um, like like uh, Arma Two. We were just fucking two night missions and then make all the goons angry by shooting a flare up to the sky and ruining all their night vision. Yes, <laughs> That's, that's the thing, is like that's actually like decently done fucking NPGs and shit. But you know what it's not uh, as bad as uh Modern Warfare 2's thermal vision not picking snow up properly. Yeah. So thermal is actually worse on snow. Yeah. I mean they oh god. Oh man. That's really terrible. Why is this snow? 
pistols. Yeah. Well, like you can do like the white. It's probably like the white hot, or the white cold yeah, with black, black hot. No, other way around. Blacks cold, whites hot. Yeah, but you can you can actually switch them. Oh, can you? Yeah, they can't be switched. We actually had a, a flare system we had on our, our post when we were in Fallujah because we have we actually had one of the manned guard towers. Uh, the others were controlled by. Um, oh Jesus, I can't remember what the fuck country they're from. They're from Africa, and we used to yell Jumbo at them because it was like hello in their fucking language or something. Jumbo. Um, but yeah, we like you, you could fucking switch it from uh, white hot to black hot, so it would actually f invert the colors. Because, like, sometimes, like, it would be easier to see when, you know, everything around them was white and they were black. You know, the hot shit was black. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, it's this way. It's, it's, can be used sometimes, but I don't remember how much. We never really used it. I mean, we were just, we were just posed in a guard tower. You know what I'm kind of tempted to do is, uh, Stalker Shadow of Chernobyl. Uh, using the intro can as a better way to set up, uh, introduction area. Also, a really good way to set up a silent protag, yeah. Yeah, that's mostly because of the text. Like, he doesn't really speak until, like, the final video. Like, the, the final FMP. Right, but it's obvious that you're, you actually have some say in what's going on up there. Yeah. And, oops, spoiler for Stalker, shit. Uh, guess what? The game's been out for several years now. I think we're okay. Yeah, I know. I'm just... Stalker is also a fucking computer killer, dude. That thing still will fucking wreck your machine. Yes, it will. That said, though, I, I did like the twist that Strelok was you. Yeah. It was, it was, it was a creative the twist. Stalker. Oh, yeah. man, I still... Uh, yeah, I, I love that you I can never finish that mission, because I remember in the forums for a long time, like, uh... We have to get Chico out. <laughs> How do you Keep complete this mission? You have to be in the game and never show us complete, the and that's like, were you not paying attention to the whole part of the uh, fact that you are Strelok? Yeah, you can't really kill yourself, you could. But then the Call of Pripyat will be entirely red and useless. Call of Pripyat is legit one of the better shooters out there. They've Call of Pripyat is pretty good, I the win ending is weak. Yes, but at the same time, I, that's great. Um, I yeah, that's really great. like that your character... I, 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 you know what? I need to reinstall Call of Duty for what I had to show how I think Homefront should have been handled. Please select a landing zone. Now correct me if I'm wrong, this is supposed to be the Doom Marine? It is. Yeah. That's not how his helmet fucking looks. No, his helmet's got a wider visor on it. His helmet is fucking goofy as shit looking, but still, uh, yes, Rip and Tear, of course. I love it. It's I don't know, close I'm, enough. It is. You know what? And the armor gives it away, too. Like, that's the thing, though, is, like, the cool thing about, like, the whole... Because it, you know, did Wolfenstein, they also did Commander Keen, and they also did Doom. The fucking crazy thing is that Blaskowitz is actually the family lineage through all of those games. Yep. So Commander Keen is a Blaskowitz, and the Doom Marine is also a Blaskowitz. <laughs> they don't explicitly say that, but it's actually alluded to in the Doom RPG... Um, yeah, the that, cyber demon. that the Cyber Team 2 was actually fought off by DJ Blaskowitz and destroyed an arm and a leg, and it came back with them cybernetic. Neat, but, uh, which is pretty cool, actually. I, that is neat. What I should really do is call it Pretty yeah, where you play as a uh, Ukrainian major dropped in to assess the situation and infiltrate and either. Uh, and handle the situation as you best decide to target on the chopper. Which means if you feel like recruiting the bandits and setting the bandits up as being in charge, because it'll be easier. So. Okay. Target yeah, again. like if you play like that kind of like almost meta game, it's kind of kind of not a bad idea. Call of Duty was like that's the thing. Pro Kill Joe did a pretty good LP of that. He also that's did. That's why they don't want to do any of the stalkers. I, I really liked his Far Cry 3 LP, and I really enjoy the way he's doing Dishonored. I, like, I don't feel bad doing Homefront because Evil Tim's not on SA, and I didn't know he'd done it when I decided to do this. Oh, and, he's not on SA? No, not that LP at least. Well, you know what, though? Like, the thing is, like, I think it's not a, it's not a sim to redo an LP if you bring something new to it and it's never been done on SA. Yeah, no, like that's, if it's if it's not on the archive, it's fair game. No, I just I didn't want to do a game that's already been done that I consider better than what I can do, which is why I don't feel like because Evil Tim's on an essay and Nigroth is a god awful little peer, so I don't feel bad about it. 
Yeah, I see the thing is I don't hate Niggeroth. I actually kind of enjoyed his fucking Sound Hill LPs. Yeah, Sound Hill LP, uh, LPs are alright, but the problem is is that he really desperately needs to understand the audience co commentators. He does. He really does. However, um, uh, Michigan, Michigan Road to Hell, or whatever the hell it was, that one was pretty cool. Yeah, no, and there's a couple of them that I can at least tolerate watching it, but, like, his Tau Fire Warrior one only gets tolerable because it's only as one of his better ones securely because he's got co-commentators for most of the episodes. Yes, um, which one was he doing recently that he started that actually had co-commentators? Like, as oh, far as a player I goes, and an editor and shit, he's actually pretty good at that. He's just not interested in listening to him. Well, he has a very monotone voice, and that can be applicable in a lot of scenes, but the, it's a lot of times it's delivery. It's, it can't fall flat. I, I I don't hate him as much as everybody else does, but I definitely see where everybody's coming from. I don't hate him, I just don't think he's doing any bad. stuff is just... Yeah, and I, that's why one of the things I've been concerned about with Battlezone is that it is bland. I mean, it's still getting views. I'm still getting a shit ton of subscribers on YouTube. Well, a shit ton being like 30. But, you know, it's like, yay, it's going well. And it's a game that has not been done on SA yet. I mean, other people have done LPs of it, but. You want to know what game I'm really thinking about LPing next? What's up? If I don't do uh, Back 22s, so that one's apparently never been done. Well, that's the game that. I don't remember how- I don't tell know us, how Tell us! Tell us! I'm in suspense here, I need to know! Please select a landing zone. Landing zone this is Morpho, returning the target marker. What was it? I need to know! This is Morpho, now arrive at LZ. We'll stand by. Also, yes, for a game like Homefront, you really do need to have code commentators. See, that's the thing is, Lazy Fire has a right when it comes to fucking... MOH, uh, Warfighter, Tier 1, whatever the fuck it's called. Because you need co commentary on the fight if you I really kind of want to open this game, because as far as Doom clones go, I remember it being pretty good. All the Zombiac game, oh shit. Motherfucker, don't do your whole name. Edit that out, you it's... <sighs> Oh, I just skipped right through that fucking shit. Uh, grab the corner. Yeah, I just grabbed it. Okay, okay. So target is in. <laughs> anyway, in this game. It was a really solid Doom clone in which he had psychic powers and weapons. Well, kind of like, uh... System Shock. System Shock, but not... System Shock. Man, this, for whatever reason, like the... Um, I mean, obviously the 3D environments remind me of Quake 1, but like, for whatever reason, like the sprite in the center just really reminds me of, um... Dark Forces. Yeah, I can see that. But it's just because the gun looks like the fucking gun. He <laughs> uses Dark Forces, I don't know. But yeah, this is a game I really like as a kid. Yeah, it doesn't look terrible. And PS, the PlayStation, was actually capable of doing some pretty decent games. But not only that, it, it, nobody's heard of this game. Like, literally nobody's ever heard of this game. I, honestly, I never have either. I think I may have, but only because I think I may have seen it in the Costco bin. Well, see, that's why I'm actually glad, like, really glad to see somebody's actually doing a Homeworld LP. Um, wait, who the fuck is it? It's not C. Jacobs. No, it is C. Jacobs. C. Jacobs was doing a Homeworld LP. Because I remember playing that game in um, 2004. Like, I think, yeah, I was, actually, I'm sorry, early 2005. And, uh, it was really fun. Sorry, go ahead. Oh no, I was gonna say, no joke, this is the thing I remember most about this game is the shotgun you get. Like, does the, did the handgun get upgraded, or like, what happened there? Yeah, you pick up an auto shit handgun pretty early Oh, that's, that's pretty sweet. Um... 
go to about 309 and you'll see the double barrel shotgun you get. You can tap fire it and it fires each barrel separately before you can pack that double barrel. Destroy weapon. their anti air defenses or vehicles. That's kind of sweet. Does it have like a delay when you fire it or is that just yeah. like the reload? Uh, when you charge it, if you watch. Yeah, yeah I don't know. It's been a while, but. See, that's kind of neat. It's like doing a game like this, though. It's 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 tricky because you've got to like again have something interesting to talk about or have a co-commentator or just do it as a subtitle LP because sometimes it actually is beneficial to do a subtitle LP. Yeah. I mean, I don't necessarily like subtitle LPs because I can't watch them when I'm trying to eat because it's like, well, guess what? I can't fucking read when I'm eating. Yeah, or when I'm trying to do art, I hate subtitle LP. Yeah, exactly. It's like if I want to just have something in the background that I'm listening to and laughing along with, or if it's like a game I've already played, I can't do that with subtitles. But like, I, mean, but, uh, I was just saying, I just I remember a lot of the weapons in this game. I remember the psychic powers actually being kind of fun to play with. Yeah, it looks pretty nifty. It definitely looks pretty fucking nifty. For Doom Clone, it's a good. It's different. Yeah, like, there's nothing, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, yes. uh... Go ahead. I was say, yes, yeah, the parallax is kind of weird sometimes. Ugh, yeah. Yeah, see, I'd like to do... I'd like to see, like, more obscure games than, like... There's one game that I, I really like. It's, it's actually a Resident Evil clone for PlayStation 2 called Extermination. And I like it for a multitude of reasons. Like, like the cool thing was, like, you picked up that that auto pistol and disruptor, right? Well, it, it kind of reminded me, like, of an upgraded gun, like an upgraded version of it. So one of the cool things in extermination was that you only have one gun. You, you start with because you're Marine Special Forces. You actually start. It's it's basically like a Resident Evil and thing combined to make a game, and that's kind of what extermination is. And you start off with just the regular firearm, you know, it's semi-automatic only, but you can get different fighter control groups, so you can do burst or full auto with them. You get different attachments for the rail system, so you can have a 203 on there, you can have a shotgun on there, you can get a flamethrower attachment, but you always have the main weapon being your M4. It's kind of neat how they handled that. Remind, kind of reminds me of, um... Uh, uh, no, that, I don't know how well that one would go over because I vaguely remember that game. Yeah. The Gummy Chronicles had an upgraded gun system, didn't it? I meant uh, quite big type there, I don't know what. I think so. It's some very old, old source game. I'm kind of disappointed this guy doing this game isn't uh, showing off some of the other gun. He kind of does, but he doesn't have like ammo for it? No, that one where you're seeing the shots left is actually special ammo. Uh, the eight shots is overcharged ammo, and then you go back to green ammo, so he's got plenty of ammo there. Oh man. What was it called? Soviet Strike? Yeah. That, was okay. first, that was the first one, right? No, no, Desert Strike. If I ever do an attack helicopter video, I'm using Desert Strike music, by the way. Yeah, do it. I, okay. I personally like Urban Strike. Urban Strike is good, but, um. I kind of like blowing up houses <laughs> with hellfires. You can do that in the desert. I know, but it was kind of cool to like blow it up and then like see people come crawling out of it. My and you're doing it all in the urban environment. It's like this is kind of fucked up. My PlayStation 2, because it's soft modded, has Soviet Strike stuck in there as the, the the game that triggers the hard drive to activate. Mm -hmm. Nice. Well, um... You out because it's like 4 in the morning? Ah, it's only a quarter to 3 here. It's a quarter to 2 here. Ah, fucking East Coasters. Well, 
Kerberos, so I was gonna get you a copy of Modern Warfare because I forgot the sale and have it for less than 15 No, no, dude, I appreciate that, but I, I barely have the time to play the fucking games I have purchased. Yeah, no, I just... Like, I got Wasteland 2 and I fucking love it, but I just don't have time for it. Who oh, knows? This is gonna be like, oh, it's five bucks, here's any lost your copy, and that actually is a good shoot. Well, and then, the and then I look at the price, it's like, 15 bucks, fuck that. <laughs> yeah, dude, no, it's just pretty fucked. Well, the funny thing is, I actually still have my CD key. So, like, I could actually authorize it on Steam, but for whatever reason, I just don't want it on Steam. I don't know why, I just, like, I, it's like, I have that old school mindset that I used to still fucking, like, no, fuck Steam, I don't want to use Steam. Weird. But I just, yeah, like, but I could easily just put in the code and could play it all I want. But I don't know. Like anytime I get an option to get a game and not have to attach it to stuff, I kind of pretty much do it. I don't know why. I just do. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of nice because then I don't have to have everybody know what fucking game I'm playing and all this other bullshit. Like, hey, you're supposed to be working, asshole. I paid you to do this, and it's like I don't care. I'm playing a game. Fuck you. Well, you could just go offline on Steam. Yeah. And be like, but then I'd forget to go online, and then I'd be like, where are all my friends? I run a laptop and a computer at the same time, so I can listen to music and shit. And I actually, that's always awesome. People make fun of me playing all these terrible games, I don't give a shit. It's like, true. oh, you're playing fucking Firefall, what a terrible game, I'm like, okay, and? Yeah, Firefall is good. Yeah, yeah, it is first, 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 first on props. And hey. beta was fun, and then it, they kept making it worse. Just because it's a first nerd problem there, Yig, doesn't mean it's not a legitimate problem. Oh god, 859 Steam games. Oh my god. Jesus Christ, I only have 110, and that's still too much. The drainage channel. I don't want to even you look at the, how there. much it estimates I spent on Steam. Uh, yeah, I don't want to know either. Like games, at least half of them are free to play, so... I'm gonna do it anyway. And I, I, I bought most of my games on sales, I'm not really upset about what I did. I'm gonna do it anyway, and be really disappointed because I play most of my shit day one. So, uh, are we gonna see your obituary in the paper tomorrow? Probably. <laughs> oh my it's god, loaded. I spent $2,000 on Bad Rats, what the fuck is wrong with my life? Total spent $12,743. Oh, Haberman. Gift transactions, 965. Haberman, Haberman, Haberman. Why did you ever fucking leave us? I have no idea who that is. You know who Haberman is? He did some LPs and some of them were really funny and some of them had gimmicks that go on too long. Yes. I'm thinking in particular the uh, Blood Trails one where the... Nerdy racist guy goes on for the entire 20 minute episode, and by 5 minutes in, you're kind of bored with it. Yes. By 10 minutes in, I turn the episode off, and I'm like, yeah, I think I'm done. Yes. He had, he had some, the problem was, he had some gold there, but then he got really pissy and stopped posting on SA. And then I was like, I actually don't find what you're doing now funny, so I'm not watching you anymore. And then again, freaking research indicates new one to stop. Where are you going? After one. Outside the mission area. I would like to. No, he did too. Wait, wait, what was the second one he did? Uh, for the 2007 thread, he did uh, the Jurassic Park. The funny part is, is if you don't, if nobody tells you, you wouldn't realize it's a camcorder LP, by the way. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, 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 yeah. No, I remember him doing that one. Yes. Yes, I completely forgot about that. Yeah, it is a camcorder LP, and that's fucking great, because he couldn't record it. Because for no. whatever reason, like, it just didn't work or something. No, well, I'm not sure that was part of it, but it was the 2007 thread, so you were supposed to do 2007 thread? Weird. It was the, uh... He's like, year 2007? Yeah, you were supposed to LP, you know, you weren't supposed to go through all the masterful editing processes and shit like that. You're supposed to just kind of do a straight playthrough. Marker placed. You know, like I am with fucking Homefront, where I keep going and re-editing it, trying to get the sound levels right so people stop bitching at me about it. Yeah, I, I actually had a lot of issues with that because of the way my mic works. So I had to, like, do a lot of rebalancing to find something that fits good, because I know it sounds good on my computer because I'm using headphones, but I also keep YouTube at, like, 75% volume, whereas my computer is set at 40% volume. Please select a landing. Landing zone confirmed. 
Yeah, and mine, I actually ended my audience. Are you sure about this? See, that would probably be a good idea for me, but the problem is my microphone clips like a motherfucker if I talk any louder than this. Yeah, mine does too, and my audio is almost as bad as CQC's to edit. I can imagine so. I still want to yell at Slur because the motherfucker didn't like some of his commentary, so he deleted some of his comments. What? And I do mean deleted, not zero. It's just like, I ended up having to add dead space to where I estimated it when you cut it. So I had to listen to my commentary at least four times to find out where you cut the uh, audio. Wow. Wait, so he wasn't recording, he was recording everything that was coming through? Yeah, but he didn't like some of the jokes he wanted to be disappointed. Oh. Well, tell him to stop. Uh, we did. It's like, here's the thing, dude, it's getting a joke that falls flat, everybody laughs at you, and it's like, whatever, you move on. Yeah, or we make jokes when I shit in the second episode. My jokes! I gotta get the maximum what the time. In the first episode, he makes a pun where I groan and the strange one just goes <laughs> See, here's the thing, I like puns. I think puns are fucking great, because I know they are great shit. The pun was bad. He, uh, he wanted to call the main character uh, Captain Armstrong because he's just a pair of floating arms. Yeah, okay, that's... that's okay, that, like, I get that, but they're not stretching. So when he says that, it's... That strange joke calls him a motherfucker. In the second episode, I can mean, see Kisu answer that. And I said, hey, I'm no sooner to join my call. Nice. Let's get out of here. Oh man, I, I gotta. I need to finish this. Almost done. I just keep re-editing. Or or you could be like me and spend ten years on one fucking content about me. I legit man, almost done. I we've got three of seven episodes recorded and ready to go. I mean, I don't think there's anything really wrong with the episode. That sounds like rough edges that I'll work on, but. Well, yeah, see, that's the thing, it's like, I, as, as Battlezone gets more progressive, like, it starts to get a little bit harder, because I'm playing on medium difficulty, which is pretty hard, actually, and I've actually gotten to the point where it's like, I will just take an episode, even if I gross the fuck up, because I don't want to, like, kind of whitewash the experience, I'm not trying to do, like, a, a super pro strat tutorial, I want to do something that's relatively entertaining, and shows the strategy, and, like, what the consequences are and shit, but the other problem is, I can only record audio about 8 months out of the year, between 8.30 in the morning, or I'm sorry, 8 in the morning, and like 4 in the afternoon. Because that is the only time that the house is entirely quiet. Oh, well, I, uh... I do most of my recording late night, but, uh... I like, you know, the first time it's really like, oh, I don't know, it's a joke. Back in my mind, uh, yeah, I forgot how easy this game was, blah, blah, blah. blah. By the third mission, Killed by random bullshit where I'd like break cover and instantly die. Um, and I'd restart the mission and be dead some areas and I'd have to do any backtracking. And by episode four, when I wiped through the mission five times, and uh, by the sixth playthrough through, and I died again, I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> you guys can suffer with me. How um, yeah, sensitive much. is your mic then? Mine? It's a desk mic, it's fairly sensitive. I don't know. When I was doing the audio recording, I was using a headset that I actually used to use for work. Oh, because I'm not about, I'm about like, you know, you need your shit completely quiet for, you know. Oh, 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 me. Um, yeah, I need it because of the fact that, well, like, here's the thing. During the day, like, the phone will ring. And I can't stop the phone from ringing. I never answer the phone. But the phone will ring. But I can't take, I can't do audio then. If the TV's on, my microphone can pick it up. If, like, somebody's talking. On the other side of the room, my microphone can pick it up. It's not like stupid sensitive, but it'll be a background noise that'll have to eliminate. And I don't like having to do extra shit like that. It's just pain in the ass. E. Of course, I also am using an old military headset that I repurposed to use stereo mini plug. Uh, so I can't really complain too much. This is an awesome headset. Yeah, I, I think that I. It, it does, the mic though does sound weird though, a little bit. 
Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a radio-grade mic. However, the headphones actually have two speakers in each ear, uh, one for high and one for low. So it's actually a really good fucking playthrough on It's just the microphone is kind of shit. But it's quick disconnect, too. It's pretty sweet. Yeah. Um, wasn't there someone who was using a helicopter um, the headset or some shit, and it just sounded really fucking weird as well? Uh, well, te technically speaking, mine actually is a helicopter headset, but it's it's basically a, a military grade radio headset. But its its primarily function is to be used in helicopters. Not this one though, because this one does not have any noise canceling. Yeah, no, the one that this other guy had it had the noise canceling on, so it just sounded really weird. Huh. <laughs> 